Hi, so I'm here to talk for a second about AQ, which stands for the Association of College and University Educators. And I'm going to talk about some of the innovative and evidence-based teaching practices that I've discovered after earning my credential. So for those of y'all that are beginning, the AQ Effective Teaching Practices or the Effective Online Teaching Practices Certification, some of the AQ strategies that I found most helpful are things like the syllabus scavenger hunts, the advice cards, uh, the graphic or visual syllabus, and I've even taken this a step further. There's something called a liquid syllabus, which just means that you can turn your syllabus document into a web page. So I tried that for the first time this semester. Uh, some other evidence-based practices I've employed are concept maps, entrance and exit tickets, but perhaps the one of the most influential practices that I was really introduced to and worked through in AQ is creating meaningful and purposeful student learning outcomes. So I really learned how to craft a student learning outcome that would be um, in compliance with Bloom's taxonomy, that would use action, words, etc. So I've definitely found that AQ has improved my self-efficacy in the classroom, whether that classroom is the face-to-face -face classroom, the hybrid classroom, or the online classroom. Uh, I teach in all three methods, methodologies. The AQ is hands down one of the best things that's happened to me in terms of my professional development and growth. And I highly recommend either of the AQ courses.